I want to welcome everyone to Sagra uh, Park as we um, welcome these amazing, uh, distinguished uh, guests to Columbia, South Carolina to help us deal with what we know is indeed um, the greatest public health threat in the last 100 years. Here, we have had an amazing local effort led by so many of you uh, in this space right now. We want to thank you for your incredible leadership, the work we've been doing together. We found out uh, that misinformation has floated around this country uh, makes this pandemic different than the one before. All the people were on one accord trying to get over the Spanish flu. Uh, no one questioned wearing a mask. Uh, I've been doing my research. I ran across pictures of a Georgia Tech game. A Georgia Tech football game in 1918. Everybody in the bleachers wearing masks. In 1918. And here we are with all the enlightenment we've had for the last 100 years. We've got people questioning science. For those of you who talk about the intersection of housing and uh, health, because that's what this vaccination piece is about, is that about a year and a half of the middle ago, Mr. Uh, Whitman, they told everybody that we need to all stay home. You remember that? Everybody stay home. What happened if you didn't have a home? The access to teach our children virtually. What happened if you, if you didn't have high speed internet? Or if you didn't have broadband? What are the devices that you need? So we have children, millions of children in this country who have lost an entire year of education. More than 300,000 people in this community that were advocating for one way. 330,000. In 40 out of 46 counties, you cannot get a two bedroom apartment just away from the minimum wage. In this this state has more evictions than just about every other state in the United States, even before COVID. So the Supreme Court has dealt us another blow. But we are resilient people. We are resilient people. We want to survive this. So I'm just asking to not let me have to come back to South Carolina because you're thinking about getting vaccinations. Because if I have to start knocking on doors, they can put 